Red Reserve has gone through a lot of changes this season. At the beginning of the Infinite Warfare season, the organization was without a team, but they obtained the Complexity roster following CWL Vegas. Prior to CWL Atlanta, the former Complexity roster announced they would not be representing Red Reserve after the event, leading to Red Reserve purchase of Orbit. That meant Joe, Rated, Urban, and Zero would be operating under their banner. However, the team would not stay together long. The team felt the impact of EU roster mania following CWL Paris, leaving them with a roster of Joe, Urban, Nile, and Shani to compete at CWL Dallas. In the 2Ks leading up to Dallas, the new roster finished first and second in the two tournaments, going from a question mark to a dark horse at CWL Dallas. Their tough pull sent them to the loser's bracket, where their run to finish top six was incredibly impressive. They managed to take out Supremacy, Fnatic, Enigma 6, and Evil Geniuses, before ultimately falling to European counterpart Splice, in what was one of the best finishes by a European team in Infinite Warfare thus far. Major credit to Red Reserve for making that one a very, very close match when it came down to that last hard point. The current incarnation of this team will be defined by the aforementioned loser's bracket run at CWL Dallas. But what really gives them promise moving forward is their success in Search and Destroy. Not a single player on the squad finished Dallas above a 1.0 KD in respawn game modes. Their statistics in S&D, however, are almost the polar opposite of a team like Luminosity in North America. Shani jumps to a 1.13, Joe to a 1.14, and Urban to a 1.13. Keep an eye on Red Reserve's performance in this game mode as they won 75% of their S&Ds at CWL Dallas. Teams that are strong in S&D have the ability to steal a series from many top teams. However, if they want to consistently hang with the world's best, they must fix their respawn woes. Tune in on May 12th to 14th to see if Red Reserve can continue to build on their momentum in Stage 1 of the Global Pro League.